All right, hello gamers, Mugluck here, and I have just tried out the Poosh game mode for my own self to see how I feel about it. I did, let's see, I guess I did like 10 placement matches and then four more. So I did like 14, 14 games of Poosh. The way that it works right now, for those who don't know, is the ranked button has been changed from instead of like Q as like a 2v2 or a 3v3, you Q into the push game mode. So it's like an in-between season thing for 5v5, but normally in between seasons they put in a game mode like 2v2 arena or 3v3 arena, this time they put in the push thing. So if you queue for 5v5 unranked, you will land in the classic map pool that you're all used to. If you queue for the 5v5 ranked mode, you actually land in the push beta, which you can see push prototype beta right here. I played 14 games and I'm just gonna share my thoughts about it. So first of all, let's just, let's just, you know, try to hit the nail on the head right now. Is it fun? Yeah. I thought it was. I enjoy playing supports in these game modes. And in some of those maps, I had uh, some of those games I played, I had 600,000 healing done. Um, It is a game mode where people who like team fights and supports will excel. They, uh, you know, your, your team is basically drawn to this one objective. And so it can be a constant team fight for like 10 minutes. The game can also be over in 90 seconds if the enemy team, if you just stomp them and then push it all the way to the end. So if you're just getting rolled, uh, it will end very, very fast, which is the reason I had time to play 14 games today. Some of them were very, very quick one way or the other. I think the game mode is quite fun as someone who enjoys team fights. If you don't enjoy team fights, you might not like the game mode. I think it's going to be that simple. If you enjoy team fights, you'll like it. If you don't, you probably won't. It's basically one just constant team fight that moves down the map. So push thoughts. Good to see they are in fact using the sidelines. Uh, this is a picture I did earlier. Uh, so there's you know, the, the, this thing over to the side and then this thing down the middle. Uh, this was a diagram I showed someone earlier, but basically one team starts here and they're trying to go that way. And the other team starts here and is trying to go that way. So like if you get it almost there, then you've got to like push it back like that. So it kind of does like a an S thing. Um, so they are in fact using the whole map. Additionally, there are some little things that spawn here, 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 which I believe are buffs, which brings me to the next point. Uh, there are objectives. I mentioned that I was hoping to see some side objectives and they did add some there. However, I'm a bit confused on what they do because they used voice line announcements in the beta. Look, I get that it's a beta. I get it. However, having the announcements say, They've captured tranquility. All three points are now yours. It's freaking confusing because there are no three points on the map. I don't know what it did. So basically what they did is they just use like random voice announcer lines and attach them to the buffs. From trying in the middle of combat to read the uh, buff descriptions, I think one of them is like the sword from Eternal Coliseum. One of them makes it to where the enemy cannot stop your push for a few seconds. And I saw one game won as a result of it. We had formed, we, there was like a stalemate happened like right here. And then we got that buff and they couldn't like contest it. And then it pushed the last five feet and it won. So, you know, that, that ended up like working quite well in, in that game mode. There's like two more, I don't know what they do. And it just yells like tranquility and stillness and stuff like that. And it's just like, what the hell? I, I would have rather had just like a really low quality, scratchy recording of like Roy Roy, which is be like, they got the thing. You know, because that would have been less confusing, like just saying like the thing, than having a announcement about a completely different map that makes no sense whatsoever. Or uh, Zoja from the da from the Dagda fight being like, pick it up. It, just just throw that in there. It makes more sense than having an announcement that just says something that is just has no place there at all. So it was really, really weird. Anyway, again, I know it's a beta. I know it's a beta. I know there's going to be some weird crap going on. I'm just giving my feedback. Flags are currently duplicated on the map. So on the mini map, there's a flag that shows the farthest your team has pushed. And currently it's doing it. It's like mirroring it. So for example, if your team has got, like, let's say you're on the red team and you've got a flag here and then the blue team has a flag here, the minimap also puts a blue flag there, and it also puts a red flag there. Which makes it a bit confusing to see at a glance what's going on. So that, you know, will need to be fixed. That's just like a, a weird little thing. No music currently. This is minor. I play with game music turned on. It's dead quiet in there. It doesn't even have like the normal PvP battleground music. So they'll need to turn that on. Again, I know it's a beta. I'm just giving, I'm just sharing my thoughts. So that's something. So I had to actually dig up some external music for like the first time in uh, over a year on stream. Because uh, I usually listen to just game music, but it was just dead quiet in there. But yeah, the game mode was really fun. And uh, honestly, the worst part about it 
is the same as the video I made the other day where I talked about the problems in PvP. I, my first game in this, we actually hit the timer. Like, the time ran out, and then my team lost, and I had an absolute blast. And what it was is really, really early on in the match, uh, let's say they were red, um, they pushed it here, and then we made a comeback, and we managed to fight it all the way here, and the match ended. And some of the people were confused, because it was closer to, like, our push uh, was further at that moment in time, but we lost because they made it further at some point during the game, which is how the game works. So I've been trying to clear that confusion up anytime I see it. The winner is the one who made it the farthest distance at any point in time, not the one who has it pushed onto the enemy side uh, at the very last second. So yeah, I had some matches that were an absolute blast. You know, again, I got like 500, 600,000 healing, you know, just constant team fights. You know, any builds that excel in team fights will really love it there. I also had other games where we queued and I had a, you know, like a Mesmer on my team that was like, hey, this is my first game. I wanted to try out the new game mode. And then the enemy team had like a Baron of the Arena and a Knight of the Arena and we got rolled and our team got zero kills. Like no one had the kills badge because not a single member of the team got kills. So so the game mode is fun. I love it. Still has all the same freaking frustrating problems. Like the matchmaking is the number one thing. So yeah, and I, I just did a whole video the other day talking about that. And currently the salt is fresh because I just left. Uh, it, the, you know, I, I just had two matches in a row. You could see where, uh, you know, I, I won many and I lost many today, but two in a row was just, it were nine, they, they were very, very quick uh, losses. We just got like absolutely rolled. This one took a few minutes, uh, but they, there, there was zero kills on our team at all. It was just completely one-sided. So yeah, uh, overall, j just to recap, push game mode, it's fun. If you like running around and assassinating and doing 1v1s, you might not like it. If you like team fights, you're gonna love it because it's just one long team fight the whole time. Number one tip: if your team starts to lose, make sure that you re don't just trickle back in. That you know that, that I've seen a lot of people do that. Don't just trickle back in. Make sure that you like all respawn together and regroup before going back in. It's not like you need to split up and get sides, you know, and try to back cap and stuff like that. You just need to all go in together to try to contest it. There's a there's a limited amount of trickery you can do on that map, but it is really enjoyable if you like the team fights. So uh, I'm starting to see like weavers come back and like, you know, there's almost a support in almost every game. Uh, but at the same time, there's still some builds like Willbender that if they jump you, you're dead in like 1.5 seconds. If you don't have an active defense available right at that moment, you just instantly kills you. You know, the, the bursty builds are still a problem and the matchmaking is still a problem. And that's it. And that's it. Honestly, if they can fix those things, I think this this thing is excellent. I might like this more than Conquest. If they like, let's say if I can dream upon a dream and they fix those other issues I talked about and then they make a permanent button up here to queue for, or for a push, I might queue for push 90% of the time. You know, there's some people that love Stronghold and they play it all the time. I might like push more than I like Conquest. There'll be some days I'll be itching to play Conquest, but you know, and I, I'm talking from like 5,700 games of Conquest played and maybe 30 Strongholds. I, I really liked Conquest, but I think I might've enjoyed this more because the game mode I enjoyed, or the, sorry, the, the type of combat I enjoyed was the main point here. The problem is the balance and the matchmaking just makes some of the stuff completely one-sided. And the only saving grace to that is it's over in nine, 90 seconds. So <laughs> it's, you don't even have time for people to get mad and go AFK and spawn because it's already over before they can even say it. So that's it. That's my thoughts on Pish. Uh, I had fun. I had a lot of fun in some of the matches and I was completely demoralized and defeated in the others. Uh, what did you guys think? Uh, you know, <laughs> like, you know, you'll be seeing this a day later, so, you know, I'll have calmed down since then. Hopefully you're in a good mood, too. Put your questions, problems, thoughts, concerns in the comment section down below, and let me know what your experiences were, if they differed from mine, or if they were the same. I'll fight you there.